Vintage inspired watches have been selling like hotcakes for a few years now, and there's no sign of their popularity slowing down. And to be honest, I can understand why. Design from the golden age of watchmaking in the middle of last century blended with all of the perks of modern watchmaking. What's not to like? It's like getting a time machine and not needing to worry that you'll get stuck in the past without your smartphone. As it turns out, you can have your cake and eat it too. It's that design ethos we see from the latest collection from Ferra in the Fieldwatch collection, which offers the best of no-nonsense British tool watch design with a Swiss-made calibre inside. There are three references to choose from, each with their own personalities thanks to different coloured dials that each offer a slightly different presence on the wrist. But before we get too far into things, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Time and Tide, and also hit that bell icon so you never miss another video from us. The Ferrer Fieldwatch collection features three different watches that share most of the same specifications on paper, apart from the colour of their dials. Measuring an almost universally perfect 38.5mm in diameter and sitting just 12.3mm tall, they are well sized to feel compact while still having a decent presence on the wrist. But if you hear 38.5mm and scoff at it being too petite, never fear, as the long curved lugs measure 45mm from lug to lug, making it wear slightly larger than it might seem from the diameter. The case also features an oversized crown that delivers a quiet nod to mid-century field watch design and is also inlaid with bronze that has been cast in the Ferrer logo. The case back is secured with a quartet of screws that guarantee it to 200 metres of water resistance, which is more than enough to protect the movement from anything you're likely to subject the watch to. The real treat is when you arrive at the three different dials of the Ferrer Field Watch collection, with an olive green dial for the Exmoor model, a deep navy blue for Le Lomond, and a crisp white for the Pembroke. All three references are named after different national parks across Britain, in a further connection to where these watches were born. As you'd expect from a classically inspired field watch, the dials feature bold Arabic numerals with healthy lashings of loom and highly legible hands that get the same treatment. What is a slight departure from the tradition, however, is the pointer date display, which is a fantastic choice by Ferrer. The pointer date doubles down on the vintage vibes that the watches serve up, without a date window ruining the symmetry of the field watch dial that they are so famous for. With each dial variation, you also get a kaleidoscope of different colours for the seconds hand and date hand, which don't overwhelm the dial, but offer just the right amount of pop to what otherwise could have been a rather sombre design. Powering all three references is the Solita SW221-1, which will be hard to break when you're out in the wild, and equally hard to break the bank when you take your watch in to be serviced. The final treat that the Field Watch collection delivers is the range of straps that the watch arrives with. Not only do you get a supple Pauline leather strap, but also a steel bracelet and a NATO strap. And if that wasn't enough, all three straps feature quick change mechanisms, so you don't have to mess around with strap changing tools. The perfect embodiment of the practical tool watch ethos. So there you have it, the new Ferrer Field Watch Collection, offering the best of both worlds in heritage inspired British design and contemporary Swiss watchmaking. All three references have a recommended retail price of $995 US dollars, which includes all three straps. So, would you consider a Ferrer Field Watch in your collection? And what is your favourite part of this inspired design? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks always for watching.